was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy, bearing that burden alone. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him. Ready to catch the stubborn sod, if ever he should fall. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, the old grumpy old sod. This note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. He should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. But then, why would he? Him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. Would you rather go at the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go, Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that's... This will do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. Told me she was building a ship. Is that the thing Tom's helped to build? I don't know where Sid gets the energy. No, 